Um, one of the things I want to just kind of preface this talk with is that, you know, the uses of hip hop in the classroom, we use hip hop to engage a generation of people who are not as concerned with race and, and all these divisions that we put on ourselves. So young people are a lot smarter than us with that. And we have to leverage that. Now, hip hop is a vehicle for communication, for understanding. The messages that are being conveyed are not messages that you have to adopt. They're not messages that you have to embrace. But it's a way to establish a conversation. And he's going to show you through his work how he leverages hip hop to convey a very important, I would say, universal message sure. that's resonating with people all over the world, just like hip hop is. So, Steve, awesome. the floor is Thank yours. You. Thank you very, very much. You're welcome. OK. Are any of you guys have any idea about GMOs at all? Or you heard of the name? One of you. One, two of you. Monsanto's the root of all evil. So you go. All right. Right next to money, right? Cool. <laughs> so yeah, this is what's going on. So there is genetically modified organisms in our food, all of our food. It's actually going on all around the world. Monsanto is the bioagricultural company that produces these seeds. These seeds have the genes from other species, have the genes from plants, animals, bacteria, not your genes. And they use this to put in the pesticide within the actual cell of the seed of the, of the corn. It's usually corn. That's the most used product, or I should say produce. So once they have the pesticide built genetically inside the seed of the corn, they go and plant it. And the thing is that the pesticide within the corn, when it grows, the plant now has the pesticide built within it, genetically, because it's with DNA, so it carries the information. So why, it's almost like, why would they do that? Well, because when these bugs come and they eat it, they just fall off. And they get to buy more pesticides from Monsanto. So they come to Monsanto, get their pesticides, and they come in the fields fully, and you can see it in there. It's in the book. They're covered up, gas mask, gas mask. They don't, don't want to smell it. They don't want to breathe it. They don't want to touch it. But they're going to blast it all over all the food, all the corn, whatever it is. Kill off all the extra bugs. These bugs, when they eat it, their stomachs explode, like instantaneously. Not like, oh, they eventually withers away and dies. No, like they die like um, almost on contact. The plants, any extra vegetation, they die as well because it's chemical. They just, it's not going to withstand. So now these things grow. They spray it. it this pesticide gets in the soil. The soil is now drenched in with pesticide. That plant absorbs it. And then they ship it out, and they put the corn syrup, and they use it in all of our sodas, TV dinners, our favorite drinks, or whatever it is. Even like, uh, even like uh, you get these vitamin waters, whatever. It's, it's in everything. It's in all this stuff. I shouldn't say everything, everything. Because at the end of all of this, there, there's a way out. But then we come and eat it, and we drink it, and we eat it. Now it's inside our bodies. Well, what's going on now when we have pesticides? This isn't just regular pesticide. This is genetics. So now genetically we start producing pesticides in our own bodies. And if you actually look uh, in there, you actually see the rats. There's a study done on these rats that they first did a, they first did a three month, they did a 90 day three month feeding trial on these rats first. This was early in 1993, okay? And Vice President Dan Quayle, he allowed it to be implemented into our food system only after a 90 day feeding trial. So what they did was they fed the rats and exposed it to, it's Roundup is what it is. The, the pesticide, the gene, is the Roundup that you see in stores that you would never ever put on anyone's food or even on your skin at all. They, uh, they tested to see results. After three months, there was, no, there was no side effects. So they were like, all right, it's cool. After 90 days feeding trial, throw it in, bam, it was in. Not until last year, September, uh, they did a new rat study of the full length of the rat's life, two-year lifespan, so about 700 days, which is basically a magnified version of our own lives. So they started seeing results within four months. So you know very well that once they, they did the test at the first time, they saw, well, four months, wow, we're already seeing results. All right, we'll cut it. Just let, it, let, let, the, clinics, uh, the, let the clinical studies go in as just three months so people don't know which is what I'm leading to. They spend multiple millions amounts of money to making sure that you don't know. That's what this is all about. And Monsanto is this company doing this. Now Monsanto is just like the, the most popular. That's just like the face. There's like, there's, there's all, there's all of them. And they're t tightly with Coca-Cola. Uh, you can even see there's some brands in there that like used to be my favorite. Doritos, Cheetos, Fritos, all these things, everything, all of them. 
And these things are scientifically and chemically designed to make you want more of them. So you have chemicals that are messing with your excitotoxins in your brain, wanting you to eat more of them like Fritos. And then you have the pesticides and the genetic level over here with the seeds. Now, they are all about money, 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 money. They don't care about all that. So they can care less what we go keep going to the doctor and trying to get medication for, for all of our problems. All of our symptoms, every single symptom you think of is linked straight up to these GMOs slash lack of vitamins and minerals. We are being poisoned, and on top of that, we're not getting the nutrients and vitamins that our body needs. So if, if any symptom, whether it's random headaches, you take showers and like there's a lot of hair in the drain. You have problems going to the bathroom, whatever it is. If it's you have constipation, diarrhea, whatever it is. You have problems with back pain. You have problems with joint pain. You have inflammation in certain areas. You're, you know, there's, there's some, of these, some of these kids are, are, are being fed this stuff like in, in their baby formulas. And I wonder why cancer is exploding all over the place, and autism left and right, the, the sperm counts going down, like and you name it, the problem with America, this is it, this is what's going on. But today it's about 65 other countries that have completely banned it. If they haven't banned it, they have mandatory labeling. We have a Monsanto Protection Act that Barack Obama has signed for whatever the reason. The point is, is that we're protecting Monsanto. Why? Money, 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 money. Back to what's going on with the seeds. You not only have the pesticide in this plant, you have herbicide resistance formulas in this genetics seed as well. You also have aluminum soil resistance formula in this seed as well. You also have a terminator gene, which means when these things grow, all these things I just said, which I bored, but it's okay. All these things that I've said, the reason is because <clears throat> When they, whatever, they put it into the, to, to the cell, whatever, I mean, to the, to the seed, when they plant it, these guys grow, whatever. Now, these things are, have just been given some genetic enhancements on like some crazy level. Now, and mind you, this is all patent. This is all, like, this isn't like secret information. You can like, please, Google everything I'm telling you today. When you leave here, Google GMO, Google Monsanto, Google all this. Um, this now has pesticide, herbicide resistance, aluminum, uh, aluminum soil resistance, and a terminator gene in it. So when they spray the pesticide, everything else dies, but these are going to be okay because pesticide is in it. They come in with herbicide and the crop dusting that sprays over them. The crop dusting to get, to get the rest of the vegetation, the herbicide. Well, it has a herbicide resistance formula in it. So it's going to be completely, uh, and it's not going to be harmed at all. The geoengineering program of aerosol spraying. Have you ever seen these things in the sky, these lines that just are not clouds? I don't know if you've seen these. Okay, these are called chemtrails. This is what's going on. They are spraying aluminum bearing strontium fluoride. Uh, very abnormal science is going on in the sky right above us as we're living our lives. The aluminum, mind you, I have tested the rainwater for the whole month of July last year. I actually have the results with me. And I use uncontaminated mason jars and I collected the rainwater. I was very, very patient with this. I spent all my own money and I got results back, which was aluminum, barium, and strontium in the rainwater. Why are those things in there? We should have regular, uh, you know, I mean, regular debris from just all of our uh, machinery in the air and all of our jet engine, but this is, just, this is just abnormal. The aluminum is coming into the soil. Okay? What does it have? Aluminum resistance in it. So it's, it's, all, it's invincible. Okay? When these things finally are done with, these do not produce any more seeds, which means the farmers need to go running back to Monsanto. I need to buy your GMO, your genetically modified seed. Okay, great, thank you. Money, 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 money. You guys can buy more herbicides and spray it. Money, money, money. Just buy more pesticide. And on another crazy level, the, the bugs that eat this, some of them have actually became immune to the pesticide. And make, exactly, super bugs. And so what they have to do? Make stronger pesticide. It's almost like an arms race now going back and forth between the bug and the pesticide. Well, in the meantime, all this money's going on, all this science is happening, we're over here dying. All this information and all my activism and, and all, these, all this stuff and awareness, I've actually combined it with hip hop. Hip hop has been totally shunned upon. It's been totally, you know, that people have forgot it's art expressing messages, expressing feeling, expressing thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> has anyone seen Food Inc? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Size me. Yeah, these are all, no, these, yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying, because at the end of all this, when I'm done, like, and if you're going to get anything out of this, it's going to be you just going home, do your own research.
go check all this stuff out and, and see what, what you're really eating. So the, the cool part about his work and his message is that he's using hip hop, it's his it's creation too, it's his art. And um, he's getting his message out using a, a vehicle that resonates with people across generations and across nationalities and across artificial borders. And um, you know, you, you see him now. In this right, I'm glad you guys saw me like this first, okay? So you understand how I jump into different, I jump in a persona, more or less, you know? Yeah. To get the message across, to, to do what it takes, you know? And I talk, and I get to people on, on different levels, which is why, you know, you know, yeah, you do got to get kind of like rough and rugged sometimes just to get to reach to this person. Get somebody's and then, attention. And then be like, okay, now what's really going on is this, 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 da 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 you know? So like, what, are we going to hit the lights? Or yeah, yeah, the lights are right there. I'm just going to play. And I apologize in advance. The sound quality in this particular classroom is horrible, but everybody try to listen up. <laughs>